Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. It's like 5.30 in the morning, so that's why the light is so terrible. There's a shadow on my face. It's a flickering light. The sun's not even up yet. I don't have any, like, normal light in my apartment. I only have, like, floor lamps and table lamps. And I have, have like, an overhead light, but it's really yellow. Anyway, it is 5.30 in the morning on Thursday. I am waiting for my car. I'm going to head to the airport, and then I'm going to Florida. Um, this is such a quick turnaround. I was only home for three days. And I'm still working on Thursday and Friday while I'm away. And then, of course, like, Saturday will be sort of a free day. It'll be sort of nice. But I told my friend last night at dinner that I am going to Panama City Beach in Florida. And he was like, why? Um, he and I are the same age, and so we both grew up watching MTV Spring Break. And for a long time, MTV Spring Break was in Florida. Through a lot of the early 90s, um, from 86 to 89, I think it was at Daytona Beach. I'm not really sure. I have to look it up. Anyway, to me, Panama City Beach has always been this sort of legendary spring break destination. Obviously, it's not spring right now. It's fall. I was never one of those kids who went on spring break. And so it always held this, 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 this sort of you know, icon status in my mind of this place where teenagers and kids in college used to go that I which just wouldn't have fit in. Also, I mean, I didn't really have any driving desire to go, but it was just so different than my reality. So, from what I understand, Panama City Beach has undergone a lot of changes in the past year, and after being this icon of spring break in America for 30 years, like three decades, they're sort of changing the flow there. I think they've banned drinking on beaches, they've become like, I mean, I think they've always been a really family-friendly friendly place in the off-season, but now it's they're developing even more. Anyway, so I'm going to go down there, check out the scene, I'm working on a story, and I'm going to take you guys with me. So let's go to Panama City Beach. Hey guys, what's up? I just arrived in Panama City Beach in Florida. We connected in Atlanta. I didn't know the other girl on the trip, but we were all totally on the same flight because I was standing right behind her. Anyway, I just got to my hotel. It is one of those apartment hotels. It's like a condo rental. I'm gonna show you guys around. It's actually really cool and wait until you see the view. So with the hotel, I enter from here and directly to the left, there is a kitchen. It's, got, it's like a really big kitchen. It's like a real apartment kitchen. And that fridge is like twice the size of my fridge at home. Hello. So right on the right, there's actually a room that has bunk beds in it. I guess this is like a family type property and it makes sense because it's, you know, an apartment. Oh my God, look, I don't even have this in my apartment. There's a washer and a dryer. Here's a bathroom. I think this might be a two bedroom property. Anyway, let's go to the beach. Um, here we go into the main living area, which is actually massive, and there's a little dining area, and the master bedroom, which is huge. I feel like this is like three quarters the size of my apartment at home. And then here, there is a master bathroom, which is a totally separate room than the main bathroom. So, oh my god, you guys, like, this is like, this is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom property. It's, I mean, I live in literally one room in my, in New York. Anyway, here is the view from the bedroom. Look at that. And I have like a little balcony. I, I don't think you can get out there from, oh, you can. Uh, I don't know how to open the door. Anyway, so this is the view. I look right out onto the beach. I'm going to try to go out onto the balcony from the other room. Let's go through to the living room. Oh my god, I can't even cope. Can you believe this view? It is amazing. Here, I think this is the handle. How do you open the thing? How do you get outside? Can't do it. I'm not smart enough to get outside. Okay, wait, I'm gonna put the camera down so we can get Okay, outside. I figured it out. You have to push like the big bar thing. It's actually really heavy, which makes me feel like pretty secure. Wow, oh my God, you guys, look at this beach in September in Northern Florida. It is so beautiful outside. Look at that water. 
it's actually so clear. You can see, wow, you can like see to like the seabed. That is amazing. I'm so excited to be here. I cannot wait to explore Panama City Beach. I'm actually scheduled to go for a lunch in about 40 minutes. So I'm actually gonna try to get some work done before I leave so I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. I just came back inside. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys soon. I'm gonna take you guys to lunch with me. I think we're going somewhere pretty cool. That's like an outdoor food truck kind of experience. And then we're gonna go to a state park. So I'm super excited about that because you know I love a park. So, okay, I'll see you guys later, bye. We're at Finn's, getting tacos. Um. So what are we eating? We're at Finn's, we got some uh, fresh fish dip, and we got salsa. Fish dip! Salsa. And we've got the uh, black and fish tacos coming up. What's our All right, so where are we? It's very sunny. We're in St. Andrews State Park in Panama City Beach, Florida. That's great. Yeah. What's special about this park? It's, it doesn't look like a park, it looks like a beach to me. You're about to see. The beach is a lot of what's special. You can also scuba dive from the shore here along the jetties and we'll get to see sort of the protected kiddie pool area. But the water and the beach are gorgeous and you still got the camping and the pine trees and wow. the nature trails. Look you guys, turn around. Should we walk up here? Oh yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go out. This is a short walk. We're just walking up to the beach now, which is pretending to be a park. But it's not a park because it's a beach. Look at that. Oh my god, it's like a pier. This is amazing. Yeah, how do you pronounce close. that? I don't remember. Hermine? Hermine? I, I heard it pronounced a few different ways. Any way that you can say it that doesn't make you feel awkward, go ahead. Do not harass sea turtles. And uh, serpentine, I guess, is used in, was used in shipbuilding, and mm. it's still used in like paints and resins. Seriously, that's all I care about. I don't care about the other stuff. <laughs> you're more likely to win a lottery ticket while you're here. Maybe we should do that too, play the lottery. Hey guys, we are now at Runaway Bay. The sun is so bright. We went to get some drinks in the afternoon because it was so hot when we were walking around St. Andrews. So now we're here, we're gonna wait for our boat. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. This is our boat. I can't see anything, <laughs> but we're on a boat now. Hi. We're on a boat. He's sitting on the thing that there's water below. He's very brave. But I'm on a bench. Water's there. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? I think we're waiting on about 10 people, so we're going to give him a few minutes.
It's actually really good. Hey guys, I never do this. I never record without makeup, but I just wanted to finish off my vlog and say I had a great day. We did so much stuff today in Panama City Beach. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Good night.